Hi, this is Brett Premack. I'm here with another of the finalists from the Sonny Rollins Meets His Fan Google Hangout. Uh, a very talented uh, tenor saxophone player who's out in Long Island. His first name is Josh. Josh, how do you pronounce your last name? Um, Junglior. Jungler. What's the ethnic derivation of that? Um, it it, it uh, dates back to Latin. It usually uh, associates with uh, musicians, like traveling musicians, street performers, stuff like that. So it's very interesting. Now you sent in a video where you play in the subway. Yeah. Is that something you do on a regular basis? Um. Not, yeah, like, I, I do it a lot. I mean, it's really fun. I, I just, I go into the city, I make a couple bucks for lessons, so, yeah. And what kind of reaction do you get from people on the subway? They're just, like, amazed. They they look at me and they go, oh, my God, this 14-year-old kid playing saxophone on the street, this is just amazing. So. And what compelled you to play the saxophone at such a young age and practice to get to the point where you're at? It was the coolest instrument. It was the coolest instrument. I, I, I know so many great people who played it, and it's just like there was no other instrument. Interesting. How's the music program in your school? The music program in my school is great. I have the world's greatest music teacher. Um, his name is Mr. Hirsch. If it weren't for him, I would not be playing the saxophone. All right. So is that uh, Plainview uh, High School? Yeah, middle school. Plainview Middle School in Plainview, Long Island. Mr. Hirsch. What's Mr. Hirsch's first name? Uh, David. David Hirsch. So David Hirsch. We want to shout out to David Hirsch for some music education, doing great things for guys and gals. Are there any girls in the music program? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean in the band. Are there any uh, women, young women playing the saxophone, the trumpet, the trombone? Yeah, there's... Uh, ma mainly they're playing the flute, but there's there's a couple of girl saxophone players. So most of them quit though. I I don't see why though. I don't know. Maybe the boy scared them off. Who knows? Yeah. So do you do you see, do you look for a career in music, Josh? Absolutely. Yeah. My my dream is to become a professional saxophone player. And when you say professional saxophone players, what types of playing situations does that mean? Playing in front of large amounts of audience, which I do already in the subways. It's just I, I love the thrill of playing in front of audience. It just hypes me up. Cool. And what are you going to ask Sonny Rollins tomorrow? Um, I'm going to ask him like, what inspires him to write a song? What really, when he sits down there and he goes, I'm going to write a song. What's the first thing that comes into his mind? I know most of it just does spontaneous and he just comes up with it, but like while he's writing it, what is he thinking? Gets really in the head of a master. That's a good question, Josh. I, I'm, I'm glad you asked, and we'll find out tomorrow, May 5th at noon, for the Sonny Rollins Meets His Fans Google Hangout. Mm -hmm. Josh, thanks so much for joining us today. No problem. Thank you for having me here.